Hi, welcome to Mouse People. My name is Maria and today... I am Brian. We are so glad that you are joining us today and we have a really fun topic. We have some Disney artwork to open with you today and we also have a little mystery figure, so very cool. So please grab something to drink and let's talk Disney. We have our Christmas mugs from last year at uh, the resort. Looks like they're making gingerbread. We do have <laughs> we do have a trip planned in less than 20 days, so we are really excited. Ooh. Do you think we'll get the resort mugs again? Yeah. 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 Uh, so we'll see if they have uh, the Christmas design from last year or if they have a new design. So that'll be exciting. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Well. What is this thing? So at work, we're doing a Secret Santa where you draw names and you have a person that you don't know who is leaving you gifts. And then I'm leaving gifts for my Secret Santa person. And this is one of the fun items that my Secret Santa left me. So. I restrained myself and decided to open it here on Mouse People. Well, actually you said, save it for Mouse People, <laughs> remember? <laughs> All right, so it says mini collectible mini figure. And here are the choices. So I was looking, there's a lot of different mini Mouse characters on here. There's a Daisy Duck and a few of her little animal friends and then there's the rare Minnie Mouse so I don't know which one do you think we'll get hmm, I don't know what we'll get uh, I hope it's not a character I don't know who it is I know <laughs> which is a good chance with me it's got like a shrink wrapped around it but it feels kind of like it's an egg so, okay we've got our Minnie Mouse she's like a little egg and uh, got some ventilation holes on the bottom all right ready what is in here Ooh, well, we, it is bigger than we thought. And I definitely know who it is. <laughs> it's so cute. So it's in a little plastic bag. So let me uh, cut the bag open and we'll, and we'll show you. Show you what, oh, she's in a bag and she's in like a plastic, a plastic piece too. So well, she is really packaged up. <laughs> no, she was in an egg too. So look at this. We have tennis Minnie Mouse. That's really cute. It's very uh, summery. She's got her pink tennis racket and her cute little outfit on. Of course, we all play tennis in our pink high heels as well. <laughs> <laughs> but she does have the right uh, hat on and uh, and bow. Who do you think she's playing against? Hmm, Mickey. That'd be my guess too, unless it's her and Daisy and they have like, you oh, know, maybe. a girl's day. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that's pretty cute though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we have some exciting artwork to share with our mouse people today. Are I you ready? What we even got. I... Whoa, look at this, it's huge. So this is one of the massive Disney Parks shopping bags. And if you notice, it says all over it, do not bend. And then it also has a tag on it. <laughs> so when, I'm trying to stop the rustling and the <laughs> crinkling. So when you purchase um, artwork at Disney, whether it's like a matted print or if you buy something that's like framed in glass. So we have a couple different ways when you purchase artwork to get it home because it's a little bit different than putting just, you know, a plushie in your yeah. carry-on or your, uh, your checked luggage so um, when we purchased a framed artwork do you remember how we got that home yeah we shipped it home we did and that was really nice um, I thought it was very reasonable and then we mm -hmm. also saved on tax because it was getting shipped out of state mm -hmm. I believe that there was um, some some differences there so yeah. um, th in this case we didn't really need to ship it we have some matted prints here and so we also didn't want to carry them around because uh, we were in a park right yeah yeah, we were at Epcot. We were in Epcot over in the World Showcase side. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't want to carry it around and try to you know, hold it on rides or anything. And so one option is you can have it shipped to the front of the park 
and you can pick it up mm -hmm. that same day by the close of the park or you can have it shipped back to your resort room if you still have enough days to do that and that's what we did here so they do package everything up it says do not bend and then there's a information sheet on here in green and it has like your name address all of that and then it has your resort that you're staying at it has um, lots of, of information on there so that it gets to the right place. You get a copy of it, and then a copy of it is also put on your package. So, very nice. All right, so, should we get into this package and show them what we yeah, picked out? Yeah, let I've forgotten a lot of really what we got. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little while. We haven't opened it, we've been saving it yeah, to- Yeah, probably all smashed up or no. something else. <laughs> we just um, saved it to open it with you. But I'll, I'll tell you, once we got this back to our resort, then we flew, so we had to decide how to get it on the plane. I wasn't opposed to hand carrying it. The problem was because it was large, I knew it wouldn't fit in the overheads, and then you know the seats are quite small. So what I did is I actually packed this in our checked luggage. So I had lots of layers of clothes, and then I had this artwork, and then more clothes, so that it didn't have any chance of getting uh, actually bent. And there was enough give that it was, I wasn't worried about yeah. it even getting creased. So that's what we did. So we didn't have to yeah. worry about it. It was easy. They sent it back to our resort. We packed it in our checked luggage. We got home, and here it's been until today. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's open this up and see what we've got. Oh gosh, even inside, there's another, there's another copy of the green information inside. So even if somehow that got detached, um, then we would still know that it was ours. It would still find its way. Okay, so we have a couple different forms of wrapping. Um, gotta love this wrapping that, that uh, Disney uses for uh, packaging things. All right, should we open the smaller one first? Sure. Okay, it's taped up very well. Oh, and then it has all of the stickers or the price tags on the outside mm -hmm. as well so that you can see um, what was purchased. So that's nice. Yeah, they've done this a time or two. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, these are all the Yeah, so small. we got some, um, well, not just us, but the boys are getting um, more excited about different things, not always just toys. And so on this trip, they decided to select uh, each of them some prints that they wanted uh, in their room as part of their um, as part of their souvenirs <laughs> from this trip. <laughs> you got to remember, we're sharing. <laughs> He's all absorbed into the artwork already. So okay. All right. So should we dive in? Do you think they're gonna, we're gonna have to see if we need to take it out of the plastic to show it. Um, so I guess we can start by saying that all of the artwork is by the artist Larry Dotson and we are a big fan of his work. He does mm -hmm. beautiful work. We've met him uh, on multiple occasions and, and really enjoyed just talking to him and his wife and really appreciate his artwork. So all the prints today are gonna be, uh, that we're gonna share are from Larry Dotson's artwork. Yeah. And he, I am going to take this out of the... Uh, yeah, I think it'll uh, avoid the glare. So when you purchase one, each one of them that we bought is matted, and then it also has information on the back as well. All right, you want to so, tell them? Yeah, it has some... There's information on the back that you can read about the actual painting and the name. And this one is entitled... This one is entitled Where Dreams Come True and this one is for Noah and it even has the year it says Larry Dotson in 2019 so again it's really neat to have and that. Larry signed it to Noah. When we purchased these he was he was there in person that day so um, that's why he was able to, to personalize them. That's a beautiful one the fireworks at night uh, that's a really special time special time to be yeah, there. Yeah that's cool. Ah, that's awesome. All right, the next one we'll show you is entitled Vacation Memories. And uh, Mr. Dotson wrote, Where Dreams Come True to Abraham. And this is so cool. So Abraham picked one out. It is the Cinderella Castle. And Abe loved all the details from having Tinkerbell. And if you take a look, you can see the partner's statue. 
and then you can see the personalization down on the mat so very cool and then it does uh, tell some more information uh, on the back very similar so beautiful colors and yeah. um, these are matted with the artwork so you can see there's like a backer the artwork is matted and it's all ready to insert into a frame. So we did not purchase a framed artwork so we didn't have to worry about glass or the weight or breaking on the way home. Yeah, and this one is another one for Abraham. It says, um, Disney's the Animal Kingdom and it says Hakuna Matata, Abraham. <laughs> the giraffes, so, always a favorite. Yeah. We love Animal Kingdom, uh, particularly Jumbo House. It's our Disney Vacation Club member home. So um, it's really a special time for our family when we watch the giraffes and, and all the animals uh, at the resort and also at Animal Kingdom Park as well. And it's funny that the kids are picking out certain ones like this. Yeah. The animals ones, the, you know, because we didn't influence them at all to pick up. No, out. we said that they could, um, they each selected one that they were using their money for and then we purchased them a second one so that we could, yeah. could hang them in their rooms. But it's neat, it's neat to yeah. see that they are enjoying some of the same things yeah. that make it uh, special for us as adults. Right. Okay, let me show you the next print. Oh, love this one. Uh, we do have a larger version of this downstairs. This is Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and it says, best wishes, Noah. Oh, love this. Just love the feeling it evokes when I look at it. Gorgeous. And you can see the personalization down at the bottom. Noah picked that one because he said he really enjoys the lobby and uh, each, each trip we spend some time there uh, in that lobby. Even if we're not staying there, we usually end up there at some mm -hmm, point. Definitely. Just to, all right, are you ready to see the next pieces of art? And yeah, who I'm picked excited these? about these. I picked these. You did. So these... Can we read it? Yeah. It says, Disney's Haunted Mansion Ballroom. They're dying to dance with you. Brian. Brian. <laughs> From Larry Dotson. Oh my gosh, so cool. So that one, I mean, that is very cool. I, this is one of my favorite scenes in the in the on the ride and if i don't know if you can see that but you can see like the details of the the cutout on the corners of the mat the, of the mat yeah there's the they're like bats but they have the disney ears the mickey ears <laughs> or yeah mickey ears yeah so yeah that one's okay I now hold that, that up so this is kind of like a continuation i don't know if we have it on the right side um, of Haunted Mansion and that scene in the ballroom scene and this one says Disney's Haunted Mansion dining room. They're dying for you to join the party, Brian <laughs> <laughs> And so this is also that wonderful scene. I Think it's amazing how the colors look how he makes the ghosts look like they do when they're on the ride There's so much more I know that there's like a it's called Pepper's Ghost and the way that they do it um, it, you know, it's really, it's really amazing. So this artwork uh, definitely captures it for us, and I'll, I'll give you another view if you can see the the cutouts there of the oh, bats cool. with yeah. the the Mickey icon. So it's a subtle detail, but when you're looking at it in person, uh, it's just wonderful. It's just one of those little added touches that makes us um, love it so much. Um, we have one more item to show you that. We purchased, and it is a large one. Do you remember what it is? No, I do not remember. So I remember. Ta-da! Oh yes, this is awesome. <laughs> this is my favorite one. Okay, should Just we read the, the bottom? Yeah. Disney's Magic Kingdom Haunted Mansion. Beware of hitchhiking ghosts, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? All right, well let us give you a closer view. Here's the overview. So it's the actual Haunted Mansion itself. And then if you want to take a look at some of the details and the personalization at the bottom. So amazing. Just as glowing. And we do have um, the Mickey 
bats. I'm not sure if you can see them right here. But the Mickey bats are in the corner, so it coordinates. And I think that we were planning to, oh, I just love it. I love the purple and that just that touch of purple in the matting. You have it? So I think that we were um, planning to do something along the lines of uh, a whole, you'll have to have a whole, yeah. oh, whoops. <laughs> we won't do that. Uh, something along the lines of, um, you know, we'll somehow, you know, put them appropriately yeah. together once we, we get them framed. So, wonderful. I'm so excited. Did you check out the moon too? Look who's in, in the moon. Recognize Madame Leota? <laughs> oh, that is, yeah, it's so cool. There's so, just the so many details to look at. Um, we're going to have like to the enjoy it. the edges and stuff too. Yeah, really cool. absolutely. The, the, yeah, so cool. I can't wait to uh, continue to enjoy this. I'm excited now that it's now that it's yeah. open. We can get it framed yeah. and, and get it up so we can enjoy it every day. Yeah. Yay! Me too. <laughs> oh my goodness. So do you have Disney artwork in your home? Um, please leave a comment down below and, and let us know what kind of Disney touches you have in your home. We have uh, talked about doing a video showing where we have some of the Disney items displayed in our house. So that's one of the videos we're kind of working on. If you're interested in that, uh, let us know. Yeah. And we are really excited. We have our trip coming up and we cannot wait. We have some fun things planned to uh, video and share with you. So we'll be uh, bringing you along on that too. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah, exciting. All right, well thank you so much for joining us and smile and have a great week. Bye. Bye.